William R. Scott used to take lumps of clay and mold them into beautiful pieces of art. Now he molds SFA students into the filmmakers of tomorrow. SFA's cinematography program is renowned and respected throughout the filmmaking industry. R. Scott joined the SFA faculty in 1963, teaching ceramics, sculpture, and art appreciation. In 1976, R. Scott was asked to make a change. Dr. Sidnow asked me if I would start the program, so I told him I would. And here, you know, with that 34 years later, we have come a long way, so I kept my word to Dr. Sidnow. So R. Scott started SFA's cinematography program from scratch. He taught himself how to make films. He relied on all the hand-me-down equipment he could find, building the program into what it is today. R. Scott's biggest challenge now is keeping up with the expensive and frequently changing technology. It remains one of his top priorities. We have over hundreds of people who graduated over, and so if they're working for companies that have surplus equipment, they'll send it to us. And also, um, we have a lot of donors, uh, many of them anonymous, who, who give us help, help us for the money. The biggest expense, of course, is computers and cameras. Most film programs would not have HMIs, arc lamps. We have two of them, which were donated. A lot of this has all been made possible by donation of equipment and by the university itself, who has been very generous with us. A cinematography program recently relocated to two houses constructed in the 1930s. In the entryway of one of the houses is an impressive display of historical film equipment. I love this old building. It's got an ambience to it. It's warm, and it, it, it really is great for our program. You know, it's not sterile. It, it's warmth, and, you know, filmmaking is about people and, and this warmth and the history of all this, so it really fits right in. So it really, like a Hollywood studio in that sense. So it's, yeah, it's a tremendous benefit to the program. As a trained artist, in the beginning, R. Scott concentrated more on the artistic aspect of filmmaking and less on storytelling. He knew there was more to filmmaking, so he began to teach himself by attending workshops and conferences in Texas and California. A film student can expect to study every aspect of filmmaking at SFA. And the undergraduates and, and emphasis is the technical end, along with script writing and filmmaking, but they're mainly taught in the technical end, such as cameras, audio, art direction, everything to, to the technical part of making the movies. And they do make movies, but to make a feature movie, that's really involved. So our graduate program, it, it emphasizes the movie making and not the technical end. I don't know another film program in the United States that shoots a summer feature every summer. Nor do I know another university in their graduate program that requires their graduate student to make a feature movie before they get their MFA, their terminal degree. So. R. Scott realized many years ago he would need assistance so his students would have a well-rounded education. We're in this very now with, you know, with communications, with English, with theater and music. Our students would take those classes and it'll count as their art classes. But if you're going to be an artist or a writer or anything in the creative field, you have got to know something more than just the technical. You have to know something about the world politics, all of these things, so you're going to you know, have feelings. Feelings are important, so you're going to be creative. For R. Scott, working with others is one of his strong points, and it creates a real-world learning experience for the students. Award-winning actor and SFA alumnus Brad Mall joined the SFA faculty in 2006. Mall's addition to the cinematography program has taken it to a whole new level. Brad came helping me with story content, and above all, working with students, teach them how to get good acting, how to recognize good acting, and how to work with actors. So it's, with him, we have just giant leapfrogged. I'm real proud of that and pleased with Brad being here. We work from the heart. Uh, I don't believe there's any bad actors that come into my class. There's just kids that we have discovered all the range that they have within them. It is obvious the relationship R. Scott has with his students is based on honesty and what is best for them. I'm honest with them. Uh, I'm going to try to be constructive and honest, but still, I'm going to be very honest with them. My students, you know, know that I, I'm going to tell them the truth, and if it's not good, I'm going to tell them, and then I'll make them go back and do it again. So well, we, I guess it's, it's a love-hate relationship with my students, but they know that we're doing it for them 
and because and, and, there is no on-the-job training in this field. I can be very compassionate to students who are struggling. I was never an all-A student undergraduate. The fact is, I had a good time. Um, I didn't get really focused in studies and art world until I went to graduate school. I enjoy students, and I, th I think that's been a big help. I could have retired 10 years ago. I keep teaching because I love my students. But I'm very lucky here again. If somebody's teaching mathematics or freshman English or English, they have a student maybe one term, maybe the same two terms. I see a student from the first term they're a freshman to the time they graduate, and some then going on to graduate school here. So I'm very lucky that I have this can have a relationship with students and see them grow from a teenager to an adult. And that's extremely rewarding. Although R. Scott has won many awards, he measures his success by the success of his graduates. I'm proud of them all, no matter what position. Philip Guzman is a feature maker, and he's excellent, uh, really. I mean, he's in big budget making movies. Philip Roy, who is a DP, who is for feature movies. Then we have many of them who have their own companies, such as Eric Hubler. I'm most proud of my students. I mean, I'm proud of some of the feature movies we shot, but number one is students. 